Hey guys, this is Fotis Hedzinkolau from gracianfitness.eu and I help men over 35 gain muscle, lose the flab and get a body they can be proud of. Today we're going to discuss my 2020s writing challenge and whether my challenge can transform your body. Now, this year I decided to write an email for 180 days straight. To help myself, I drew 180 small circles on gold foil paper and hanging in front of my desk. And every day I write an email, I put a big X on one of the circles. Slowly, a chain of X's will form. Will form. Uh, not ex-girlfriends of, I mean, we're, I'm talking about the letter X. Now, but if I miss a day, I'll have to leave a circle without an X, and the missing X will stare at me for the rest of the challenge, reminding me that I failed to be consistent. And today I want to highlight the principle behind the challenge, which is, as you've probably guessed, the principle of consistency. And it's one of those unsexy things everyone knows about, but rarely uses. And chances are you even rolled your eyes when you read about it. But I have to ask, when you try to achieve any goal, do you stay consistent on a daily basis? Take for example the goal of finally building a body you can be proud of. You don't have to train every day. In fact, three to four days per week are enough. But you should consistently do more. No, no excuse me. You, but you should consistently do something that brings you closer to your goal. On training days, you should push yourself to do more reps and lift more weight. If it's a rest day, make sure you actually rest. Don't stay up late since it will affect your training the next day, or at least the, the, the day you will end up training. And you can even go for a 30 minute walk to aid recovery because if you feel sore after a workout, you will notice that just going for, for a very low stress, very relaxed walk the next day, yeah, it's gonna aid your body to recover faster. That's, okay, talking about building muscle. What about if you want to lose the gut? Are you eating whole foods every single day? Or have you somehow fallen victim to the malakia, and that's BS in Greek, that you can gorge on junk food and still gain an impressive physique? I don't care what the model with a six-pack and the Hollywood smile says. Eating junk food consistently makes you look and feel like trash. The people with impressive physiques will eat junk food every once in a while. Or they might take a picture of them, um, I don't know, having some bucket or a bucket of peanut butter of, or perhaps Nutella or something else. They will take a picture of it and you will think that, oh, they're going to eat that thing. But no, they will probably eat a tablespoon or two tablespoons and they are going to be very gluteal, retentive about the whole thing. But the truth is that their diets consist of whole foods uh, but their diets consist of whole foods on a consistent basis. And now, let's take a break from building a nice body. Okay, Let's take a break from building muscle or losing fat. Take, for example, another demographic of people that I help. People that okay, might be in some kind of pain uh, because they did an exercise that hurt him. Can consistency help you here? Well, let me share my example. Back in 2018, I re-injured like a dork my left shoulder while doing some deadlifts. I waited a few days to recover, but nope. So I decided to follow a shoulder rehab protocol, which I will probably promote later this year since it really helped me. So I did targeted exercises every day consistently. I was back on track in around two weeks. Of course, smart and successful people know they can use consistency in anything. For example, Earl Nightingale, America's preeminent success philosopher, said you can become an expert in any topic you want. How? By simply standing for an hour each day for five years straight. Again, that's what happens when you're consistent. You can become an expert very, very, very easily. Heck, the good news is that thanks to the laziness pandemic plaguing our world today, you don't have to wait five years. Back in 2009, I think around there, uh, people asked if they could take me out and treat me to dinner. All they wanted was to pick my brain for fitness advice. But little did they know that I have been studying fitness for less than a year. Now, more. Uh, in 2016, I made myself an expert in personality-based emails. How? By writing, by writing daily for around 100 days straight. 
So success can be that simple when you consistently take action. Again, the whole concept is unsexy as hell. It's not what ordinary men wanted to hear, but it's what smart men needed to hear. Will it work for you? Yeah, I'm betting your left arm it will. Okay, enough said. Uh, if you want to get more great physique tips for men over 35, then hang, then head over to gracianfitness.eu slash iTunes or slash YouTube. Anyway, guys, that's what all I had to say. Talk to you soon. Bye.